Yesterday I was diving into Lil Wayne Family Tree and, and the rest of the community tab. But today I want to get to the stuff, man. I want to get to the stuff. Like I be having a lot of opinions of what's going on, but I've been I've been like holding back from really like like letting people know how I feel about certain stuff. But today we're gonna get into it. Like why not? Let's dive into it. Like I ain't friends with a lot of these rappers and a lot of these celebrities. I've met some of them, but I don't care enough to like protect any relationships, whatever. So I just want to be honest. You know what I'm saying? I, I be telling y'all I, I grew up on a, a lot of academics, so. You know, I, I appreciate it. he keeps it hunting. He keeps he keeps honest. So, with Kid Leroy, I actually was watching one of academics of streams, and he said that Kid Leroy uh, almost got jumped, but Kid Leroy put out a little video. It was like, oh, I ain't get touched. I ain't get touched. You feel what I'm saying? But he was actually uh, in Chicago and did almost get jumped by what is reportedly to be some of um, Lil Bibby's goons and some of the, the, the shy rag demons. You know what I'm saying? And that is because... Uh, Kid Leroy is, a, is another byproduct of people that use a label to get popping and then when they get popping It's like oh no, I'm about to go leave and go somewhere else, right? And I was a really big fan of Kid Leroy's music. And I'm still a, a, a Okay supporter uh, relative supporter of his music But what I don't like is when rappers use these other platforms or use labels and use people to get to the whatever height they want to get to and then when they get to that height they leave and then they complain about the backlash. Like, that, we're going to actually tie that into Megan Thee Stallion as well and her situation. But a lot of artists don't realize when they sign these deals that A, they're not really bosses. B, they're probably not going to have a lot of creative control. And C, this, these people are helping you and in investing money into your career, money that you don't have to invest in yourself to be able to get popping. Then they get popping and then they want to leave the label. Like, I've watched interviews where Kid Lori has bigged up like Bibby for finding him and and um, putting him on and, 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 and like big up Juice World and, and Herbo and he, I, he, he is big up these people, right? And now Kid Leroy getting money. He got a Justin Bieber feature and he'd be performing with Miley Cyrus. Now he, and, and I don't even like to immediately call people culture vultures and stuff like that, but you can't say that Kid Leroy did not use the black culture to, to uh, expound and, and shoot up in his career. Like he, he definitely used the black culture. Like he used the Juice World cosign. I think he has more monthly listeners on Spotify than Juice World now. And it's like he clearly used, clearly used the black culture to boost his name. And now he switched back over to to the Caucasian side. And it's like I'm not mad at it because at the end of the day, the man is Australian. But it's like you clearly just used the culture to get what you wanted out of it, and then you left. You know what I'm saying? And and you left, or, or not left, but uh, Scooter Braun, I believe, is managing him right now. Or, or uh, once again, this is from academics. Um, and I, I do trust academics' sources and whatnot. But uh, Killer Ray is now involved with Scooter Braun. And it's like Bibby and, and Herbo and, and that whole, uh, I believe it's called Team A or Grade A Productions. It, it helped him get to the point where he's at right now, right? But this is what all these artists do. They get to a point where they feel they're bigger than what they signed for or or it's like now they're looking at the percentage that they're actually getting and they're like, damn, this is crazy. Like, I don't want to be in this deal anymore. I want to uh, have different management or whatever. And it's like, bro, uh, uh, even academics uh, touched on this a little bit. It's like Lil Baby, his biggest draw was Juice World, right? And then he basically made a Caucasian Juice World or contributed to making a Caucasian Juice World and Kid Leroy. And you want to just leave after you basically use his whole camp to blow your name up and you used the the coattails of juice world and and used his audience and fan base that he left behind and you basically scooped up and then you're scooping up other people and, and continuing to to pro progress in your career shout out to killer Roy for sure on that but it's like bro you clearly are just like you just use the culture that that supported you and you're trying to just dip on it and i don't know i just i feel like artists should should learn what they're signing first before they just sign things because artists just sign things and then later on down the line they maybe didn't think they would get so big and now they're now they're big enough to where they're like oh wow like i'm seeing all the dividends come from this i think that i'm worth way more than what than what is actually happening here and it's like i don't know i, I don't appreciate it just on looking at it from like you know i i do music marketing i'm in the music field in a certain um way shape or form so I get that it really it don't beat the labels fall a lot of times like the the casual fan is looking at these artists and and these artists be saying like oh 
free me, free me. They're not letting me drop music. Like, bro, you signed a deal. Like, that's what happens when you sign a deal. Like, you signed a deal early in your career. You had no money. And it's like they're they're very much willing to use the label, right, for for money when they when they're broke, right? So so in order to get to the point they want to get to, they use the label and and they take the label's money because the label essentially is a bank, right? So they use the label's money to get popping. Then they get popping and they realize, damn, I want my, my percentages now. But it's like, yo, bro, you signed a deal, like you were nothing. So this is why this is why I'm saying too, like if you're an artist. You need to make sure you have leverage. Like, if you have no leverage, then you will have no leverage later on or at any point in your in your contract. You know, like, people think that you can just change what's in writing. Like, you sign the deal, bro, and, you, and then you'd be surprised when people ain't trying to let you go out of your deal. You know what I'm saying? It don't make sense. And he was messing with Chirac goons. Like, yes, you know, Lil Bibby and them. They, they they out here, you know, doing better with their lives. But I don't know if Kid Leroy is up on free crack and, um, you know, the the uh, the old days of where Bibby and Herbo was out here working. I don't know if, if he's aware, you know what I'm saying? But they they still got ties to the, to the Chirac, you know what I'm saying? If, if we're going to keep it 100, I'm, I'm very much going to stand on that, that they still got ties to, to some Chirac goons. And Killer Way acting crazy over here talking about like I'm about to go get managed by Scooter Braun. Like but I don't know the specifics of their situation, definitely, obviously. But it's like, bro, you're tripping out. Like this this I just don't like when people do that. Like artists need to realize if you come to the game with no leverage, like how do you expect to to, to try to dictate what's going on? Like if you if you come with nothing to the table, you can't dictate what's at the table. 